Oh fuck, the payment there. Hello, I'm Lucius Pegarius, the great kingdom of worlds, and currently blessed with one of his Papa Nurgle's blessed gifts. Anyway, I'm here to tell you, well, advise you how to start an army. Or even better, because this is not my main suit, how I am doing my next army, how am I starting it? First things first, I'm going to do an um, Astra Militarum uh, tournament army. Because, you know, I'm a masochist. So first things, first thing I did is I bought the codex. This isn't something I would advise straight away, because it is 25 quid, and but I've already had them before, and I'm I know how they work, and I, I know how to paint, so I, I enjoy painting them. So, but your first buy, I would say, would be a like a small box of like a guard squad or a you know anything like that, a sort of something so you can practice painting on. And if you enjoy painting it, I would say either get a codex or if you can afford it, get the stuff collecting box set. They are actually pretty good, and I think they're pretty much worth the money. I'm not a big fan of the Astro Militarum because it, I, I believe, actually lacks a lot of things. Want to leave you, um, such as um, well, it's only got like a tank. It doesn't have the HQ squad, which almost every other unit does. And <clears throat> yeah, I'm playing now you today. So that would be the next thing. After you've got, you start taking box set or your codex, so you kind of can see what you're doing. I would advise you to look at page 243, 44 of the rulebook, because that has the detachments pages on, and then you can get a good idea of what sort of army you're going to build. My astromatarum is going to be a, a spearhead detachment, so. I'll have, it's going to be Catacan and it's going to be loads and loads of troops. So I'm doing a spearhead detachment. I'm going to have two Lehman Russes because I'm getting the Battle Force set, set which you can get, which is like £100 on, on, on their website. On their website, which is pretty cool and well worth it. And <clears throat> it's got a heavy bolt team, so I'm going to be doing lots of heavy bolts or heavy weapons teams. You can get them, and that's the point. Whereas, so once you've chosen your, you think about what you're going to get next. So once I've got that, I will have a three squads of units. I'll have my HQ choice. I'll have a command squad. I'll have the two Lehman Russes and a Sentinel. Now I've got to think what to get next. Now, I can have six heavy weapon spots, but I've got my three troops units used up. I have. So once I've done that, once I've got the tro three troops units used up, three more, which will be anything for I think I'll just get uh, you'll get just more infantry to be honest with you. That's what I would do. I would I do like infantry heavy armies anyway. Even when I do outdoor, I tend to do very, very heavy infantry. So, and I've got to deal with my fast attack. I can have another fast attack, which will be another three sentinels. Now, I'll probably do half and half, to be honest with you. No, sorry, I can have another six, uh, five sentinels. I'll probably do half and half, as in half armoured, half scout. And again, when you buy an, any model, I would always say, think about what you're going to use it for. Um, there's nothing worse than buying a model and going, oh shit, what the fuck do I have planned for this? And, and when you fight someone, you have, you literally have no clue what you're doing. I have beaten people because they've magnetised weapons. I have gone after them while they're holding their weapons, thinking about the movement. I say, what are you using that for? It, it messes with their head, and they go, oh wait, what? They're not sure about what weapons to Make sure you know what weapon you're going to use, what, uh, what this is going to be for. I'll give an example with my Aldo army. My Aldo army is a very fast army. It's got lots of jet bikes. But all my jet bikes actually have a, pu a purpose. Got 
half of them for uh, light vehicles and the other half for infantry. So this is what you should do. You should, and so once you've compared that, you said, right, now I've got to do my flyers, which are Valkyrie, which I'm going to be getting anyway, and because I love flyers. My Chaos Army has two. It has two Haldrakes, a converted Storm Talon and a proper Haldrake, which has been converted with Aldar Peak Pot. And, um, so each of them. So now you've got your detachment. You've got all your elites, you've got all that sorted. You've got to decide what you're going to do next. What? You, so, you, what, so you're starting your battalion. What are you going to do now? What is it going to be? Well, you have, we'll say you, you've got your Sledgehammer. So maybe you need something a little bit more fast. To me, I would go for a nice outward uh, uh, detachment. Because then, you'll have something that will also be able to get up front and bother the enemy quite quickly. You're opposing an enemy quite quickly. And it doesn't have to be big, it can be just one HQ and two um, squads of uh, bikes and whatnot. So there you go. And that's and that's how we do it. Every time you buy a model, try and decide what you're going to use it for. Straight before you buy it. I mean, literally before you buy it. Go say, what am I going to use this for? Try and... Try and save as much money as possible. I mean, if you can see a big box, do the mass. See if it's... See if it's actually saving you money. Uh, one under plenty of speculation right now is, of course, the... Um, this is about which is coming out, which is like 300 quid. And when the mass is done, you find that actually, no, don't die, guys, I need you. Um, when the mass is done, it actually shows that the you're not saving any money. It's literally all those models you're going to buy for 300 quid are worth that separately. Don't go, again, don't go spending a whole lot on a load of models. Make, so my tips are make sure you enjoy paying the models. Get something cheap, like a blister or a little, or a small vehicle, like vehicle or something, like a dreadnought or something like that. None of that's not too expensive, but it gives you a good idea to paint it. Get a Get Started box, or the codex, it's up to you, if you like painting it. If not, it means you can, you can either sell them online or you can, you can pick them up, you can pick up a new army pretty quick, okay? So, after you've done that, you can go and get your neck. What are you going to go next? And you can just slowly build up an army, and you'll have a very good and very stable army. Like I said, and finally, always make sure that you're going to know what, even if it's a Warlord Titan, make sure you know what you're going to be using it for. Everything needs to know its place. And when you do things like that, you will you will find your gaming easier, because you you have plan, you, you plan ahead. Yes, I will say, not all plans succeed, but some plans do. And if you've got a plan, and you've got a backup, you can follow through. Yeah, follow through. Um, less and less is going to take you by surprise. Anyway, I've been Lucius Picarius. Great Pandemic of Worlds. Blessed with many of Noble's gifts today. Please like and subscribe. I hope to see you again soon. If you've got any ideas for rants, uh, how-tos and whatnot. Sorry and how to do some whatnot. Yeah, leave a comment down below. I hope to see you soon.